So there's nothing quite like watching a film on the big screen. Film is all the richer when it's a shared experience. The original Everyman in Hampstead recently celebrated its centenary. Over the years, thousands of films have played on its screens, and to this day, it remains the spiritual home of Everyman. Since it opened, the Everyman name has grown across the UK. At the period end, we had 44 carefully selected venues with a total of 152 screens. By number of screens, Everyman has grown to become the fourth largest cinema circuit. From the moment you step into one of our stylish venues, Everyman feels different. With our unique brand of hospitality, we offer a level of comfort and experience that is unmatched. We present a wide range of carefully curated content, from popular releases, performing arts and throwbacks, to projects like Everyman Beyond, a hand-selected programme of low-budget films that we think have something unique to offer. Every year, we host innovative and entertaining events, including red carpet premieres, director Q&As and launch parties. And during the summer months, we host outdoor pop-up cinemas in collaboration with long-standing brand partners. Alongside our expertly curated film offering, we prepare a wide range of food and drink that refreshes every season, served in our bar areas and in screen through at-seat service. Nothing compares to the Everyman experience. Our customers and members tell us that once you've been to the Everyman, there's no turning back. So I'm happy to report that cinema is alive and well. The UK film market peaked in 2017, 18 and 19, before all film production ceased in the outbreak of COVID in 2020. Post-pandemic, we have seen a steadily improving film slate. In fact, five of the top 15 highest grossing films of all time have been post-2020. There's been a well-documented shift in attitude amongst major studios. The returning consensus is there is great value in the full theatrical window, not just because the actors and directors prefer it, but because Wall Street has seen the commercial merits. Killers of the Flower Moon, Napoleon and Ferrari are all good examples of films that were initially made for streaming, but ended up with highly lucrative theatrical windows. As a final point on this, it's important to understand that a theatrical release also delivers a better streaming performance, so it's a win-win for all parties. Our financial performance in 2023 was very strong. We delivered record growth in both revenue and EBITDA, revenue increasing 15.3% to 90.9 million, while adjusted EBITDA increased 11.7% to 16.2 million. This financial performance was weighted towards the second half of the year, where we saw an improved release slate. In July and August, both Barbie and Oppenheimer delivered remarkable box office performances with the busiest week of admissions, beating our previous Everyman record by almost 50%. In the period, we continued to grow market share, rising from 4.5% to 4.8%. Importantly, we managed to maintain sensible levels of bank debt at less than two times leverage. As always, there's a delicate balance to be struck between further rollout and expenditure, whilst maintaining a strong financial position. With current CapEx expectations for the openings in our pipeline, we expect leverage and net debt to reduce significantly over the next couple of years. So we opened four new venues in 2023 in Salisbury, Plymouth, North Allerton and Marlow. Each venue showcasing exceptional design and the distinctive look and feel that has become synonymous with the Everyman brand. We also completed the highly complimentary acquisition of Tivoli Bar and Cheltenham at the year end. Both venues are a perfect addition to our portfolio. Trading across this cohort has been encouraging today and we're confident that they will add significant future value, noting that most of our openings take four years to reach full maturity. We're excited by our confirmed openings for 2024, which include Bury St Edmunds, Stratford International and Cambridge. We also have a fully fitted out venue in Durham that we expect to open within the next 12 months. The pipeline for 2025 is well developed with confirmed openings being the landmark Whiteley shopping centre in Bayswater, Litchfield and West London's Brentford Lock. We remain committed to measured organic expansion and carefully evaluating every investment we make. Well, we've been very busy 
We've welcomed three and three quarter million customers through our doors, representing an increase of over 300,000. Against a challenging consumer spend backdrop, our paid for average ticket price increased by 3.2% and food and beverage spends increased by an impressive 10.2%. In other strategic and operational progress, we have launched a new website. This provides an improved functionality for our customers. It gives us greater visibility on booking flow and the potential for more targeted advertising campaigns. Since the new site's launch, our average monthly visitors have increased by 21%. We further enhanced our food and beverage proposition and new customer favourites include our raclette burger and cocktails such as the strawberry daiquiri and passion fruit martini. We continue to grow awareness of the Everyman brand through our brand partnerships and digital marketing campaigns and we've also refreshed our existing membership offer increasing uptake, engagement and retention. As a result of this membership numbers have almost doubled in the last 12 months. We're moving through 2024 with increasing confidence. We've delivered a strong performance in Q1 with June Part 2 and Bob Marley One Love as the standout titles. It's clear guests are returning to our venues in greater numbers and spending more with us, testament to the strength of our offering. We look forward to a continuously improving film slate throughout 2024. There are too many films to mention, but a few that we're really excited about include Wicked, Despicable Me 4, Paddington in Peru, Joker, Folly Adder, and a new Gladiator sequel. We'll continue on with our expansion plans, with the deal landscape remaining very favorable and landlords particularly keen to work with every man. Overall, we have continued to make significant progress, both financially and operationally, and we look forward to delivering further growth, capitalizing on the opportunity ahead of us and driving strong shareholder returns over the short to medium term.